guys, The Curious Owl here, and today I am bringing you a review for the audiobook for The Diviners by Leva Bray. This is the first in a YA paranormal mystery series that deals with things of the occult and murder and all kinds of things awesome related to the 20s and New York City, and it's just... This is such a fantastic book and I would so recommend it for audiobook especially because not only is the story itself just great, but holy crap, the narration by January Lavoie is absolutely fan freaking tastic. So to go into the main plot of the story, so first off, it is, like I said, placed in 1920s in New York City during the Prohibition era and so many other things that were happening in the world in the 1920s. And the main part of the story really focuses on this girl, Evie O'Neill, who moves from her town of Ohio in Ohio to go live with her uncle in New York City, who is the owner of this occult museum in the city that everyone calls the Museum of the Creepy Crawlies. The reason that she moves to New York City in the first place is because she develops this ability over the years of being able to tell things about people by holding on to objects that they have. And this gets her into some trouble back home and so she's sent off to New York City where her uncle is to deal with her for several months until they can get things sorted out. While she is there, though, she ends up using her abilities to help him in a murder mystery that is going on where somebody is going around New York City and killing several different kinds of people and doing occult things with those murders. It's a mystery that defies all logic and reason of this time as things like magic and other dark elements are at play within this mystery. And Evie and her friends and uncle have to figure out what exactly is going on in order to try to keep more people from dying. There also is a main subplot of the story involving an African-American boy named Memphis Campbell who has a younger brother, Isaiah, who also has a special ability. Isaiah has this ability to see the future and Memphis had his own ability himself when he was much younger where he was able to heal people. Unfortunately, after the death of their mother, Memphis loses his ability to heal and is sent to live with his aunt Octavia, who is a completely devoutly Christian woman and wants nothing to do with special abilities or magic or anything of the sort in her house. And so when he finds out that Isaiah has his ability to see the future, he has to try to keep it under wraps as much as possible. I think I would recommend the audiobook more so than the physical book, honestly, with when it comes to talking about this story in general, because January Lavoie honestly has a voice that narrates the story so well and makes it so atmospheric and you feel like you're actually in the 20s and you're feeling like you're actually moving along with Edie as she as she's going through this case and things of that nature it just seems so much more lifelike to listen to the audiobook than to actually read the physical book in my opinion 